time for you. All righty, let me uh, resynchronize. Uh, okay, you know what it is, three minutes of pitch, two minutes of feedback, as soon as you start speaking. Uh, you, no, it's just you, it's all you. Hello, I'm Joshua Felton, and before I go, go into anything about my business, I want to talk about you as a customer. You as a customer walking into a technology store. Um, your experience might be similar to experiences as people as my, such as my friends, um, my godmom, other people like that. You walk into the store, you're looking for a specific type of electronic. Um, you don't really know what the electronic is. You don't really know how the electronic can benefit you. Um, you don't really know, all you know is that that specific electronic, you want it, you want it. So you walk to the store, you walk, you scout, you search the aisles, you look for it, and, and you pick it up. You're like, okay, this looks, this looks, this looks like it, it works pretty well. This looks like something I could, I could take home and enjoy. So you give it, you, you um, go up to a store, store clerk or someone and say, this is what I want. And they don't really, they, really, they really don't tell you or give you any feedback about what you want. They just, say, they just ring it up. And so you get home, open this up, and you're like, okay, boom. Next thing you know, you totally got something that you didn't know nothing about, something, something that did more than what you wanted to do, something that you thought was, something that you thought would have been beneficial to you, but it's somewhat beneficial to you. This is where my company is stuff. My company is supposed to help you find tech that is right for you. You know, so as far as, it's too many times where people walk into a store and not really know exactly what they want. It's, it's like, it's like saying, you know, where people are, when people are aware of what they're getting and are 100% confident in what they're getting, they feel, they feel better about purchasing it. Um, tech for you is, is exactly what the name is, it's for you. I mean, you don't want, you don't, if you want something, if you want something to go out and get it, you got, if you want something to go out and get it, you gotta make sure that it's for you. I mean, uh, also with, with, this will be a website and also a calling service that people can usually just call up or just check, check the website and just type in, okay, I want headphones. And somebody will respond back to you and say, okay, these are the headphones. Are these headphones that you're looking for? They'll ask you things like, what do you want the headphones? How much do you want the headphones to cost? How loud do you want them to be? How much bass do you want them to have? It's different things like that. Or even with a computer. You, want, you, you say you want a laptop. Um, how fast do you want your laptop to be? Do you want it to be small? Do you want it to be big? This will take a few steps in that. Uh, right now, I want to develop a website. Money for the web, a website. Find people that can help, also help me um, who have a lot of information on technology who specialize in areas such as laptops, computers, TVs, video game systems, accessories and stuff like that. Because I, I can't be the only one telling people what to get. I need more people to back me up with, like when I tell them, you know, this is great for you. And more people can come behind me and say, yeah, I mean, he's not, either he's wrong or he's right. That is for you. So uh, just, just the whole backup of people and the um, website. Also, I'm thinking about the price. I'm thinking about making a subscription where people can just pay a monthly price or probably a yearly price where you just call up any time and just say, hey, or go on the website any time and just say, hey, this is what I want. Can you look for it for me? And I'm like, I look for it. Yeah. All right, clap it up, everybody. <laughs> judges, judges, judges. I love that you started with customers and if you haven't done so already you need to get on to YouTube and look at a video by Ted it's a Ted video where they talk about the um, I think it's the golden circle or something like that I don't know if any of you have ever seen it it's excellent but it talks about understanding the why and that the why is more important to customers than than the what so please look at that tonight I think that's your talent is, is understanding customers. That was the strongest part, in my opinion, of your 
I just would say, Josh, uh, I think it's a really cool idea. It's similar to one I actually had a similar one. Uh, not it, this whole idea of the customized experience mm -hmm. and this re uh, a real person that you can trust and build a relationship mm -hmm. with that can help you. A personal shopper is essentially what you're describing. And a personal shopper is actually something that happens in other fields. And to customize it for the electronics field, I think is a really cool idea. I think it's got a lot of potential. Um, I think what's cool, what you have is there's a gap there, right? Um, you have websites that tell you what to buy online yeah. and go out and, you know, here, go find this. But one of the things that I find with those kind of websites, those comparison shopping sites is, I don't really trust. I'm always trying to figure out where the angle is, like who are they connected with, and you know how they have all these schemes, and someone's trying to get you to click here. You don't really know what that information is and trust it. And you always end up talking to friends. I think what it comes down to is, you know, the ironic for someone who doesn't say that having the phone line, I think is great. I think even the subscription model is something to look into. I mean, you definitely want to cap the number of hours that you allow them to do, because otherwise you might have someone who's like, I don't know how to make work my phone, and you're on, on the phone with them for like, seven hours and you're losing money that whole time. But um, I, I think what it's gonna come down to is you need to know who your audience is and who's willing to pay for it. What I will get it down to like a, you know, this personal shopping, like use that line and get it down to like a two sentence, three sentence line that's really concise that you can just pitch to anyone anytime, get someone who's willing to buy and see who's in it. My assumption is, is that you're gonna find some older, wealthier folks that are going to be able, that are that are going to want to pay you for, per, and I would charge probably on an hourly basis, mm -hmm. something like that, a flat rate. You just come in and you answer questions and everything like that. I think you could do really well. Good question, Rick. Are you looking to be more tech support on for products that they they buy a computer and now you're going to help them work with it, or are you looking um, say they're trying to buy a computer and they don't know out of the hundred options they have in front of them which ones would be the best fit for both? Um, yeah, to look into the future, I would like to be tech support too. Um, my whole idea with the um, technology, when you go to buy it, sometimes you, some people, some people will sometimes lead you to their technology. But once you get it, you really don't, some people really don't know what it does. So we want to make sure that you're confident and you know that what it, well, I want to make sure that you're confident and know that what that technology does. You like take every aspect of the tech with the vision. Uh, so when I was like 15, 16, I got a job at Staples selling computers. And the great thing is that people would buy these computers, but they didn't know what to do with them when they got home. Yeah. So you already have them making the purchase. You're already there consulting with them and you're getting paid for that. And then you're like, hey, you know, I was never pushy about it. But when they went, I don't even know how to get this thing plugged in. I was like, well, here's my card. You can call me on like Saturday when I have off or whatever. I can stop by and work at a place that was selling the, the devices that I knew I could help people with. Um, I don't know if these days they have rules against that stuff, so you would want to look into that. Um, but then, at that point, my boss had never said that wasn't something I couldn't do. And I was just trying to help people, you know, get from, you got the box, to how do you actually plug it in the wall and make it do what you want it to do. Yeah.